Let's go see. Let's see. Continue. Trouba glass story. <laughs> Trouba glass story. Can we get the duck into dog cam? Yes, in the water. Up in the water. Up. <laughs> Maybe she'll go there. Yeah, la. What's up in the Well, she'll go there if she wants to. No, let come in a sinner. Huh? No, sinner bar. Hop up. Do we need to get? Let's continue, so um, going off to Alderaan. Come in, Lieutenant. This is General Garza. I understand you've just sat down on Alderaan. The political situation on Alderaan is highly complicated. The world's ruling families are mired in a civil war for control of the planet. House Organa supports the Republic, so they're our primary ally. Your mission against the Havoc Traders is priority one, but try to aid the Organas where you can as well. I'll do everything I can. The Empire supports House Organa's rival, House Thul. Thul was banished from Alderaan, but with the Empire's support, they've returned to make an attempt for control of the planet. Mm -hmm. How much support is Thul actually getting from the Empire? Quite a bit. Intelligence reports indicate that Imperial troops operate openly on Thule's behalf all over Alderaan. Now, your primary mission. Your target is Gearbox. A captured Thule nobleman has revealed his presence to our House Organa allies. Apparently, Gearbox is aiding House Thule and the Empire in their effort to take control of Alderaan, though we don't yet know the full nature of that assistance. I'll ascertain Gearbox's objective immediately, General. If it's something of interest, certainly recover what records you can. But your main objective remains the man himself. You should speak to the Thule nobleman that House Organa captured, and see if you can get more information from him. The Thule prisoner is being held in isolation at House Organa's estate. I left strict instructions that no one interact with him further until you arrive. I'll proceed to the Organa estate at once, General. The overseer at Organa's detention center is a man named Balak Cormac, a captain in their house military. He will be your primary contact. That's it, Lieutenant. Question the prisoner, determine Gearbox's whereabouts, and neutralize him. Understood? I'll be done in no time. Mm -hmm. Good luck, Lieutenant. Garza out. Everyone approves. <laughs> okay, again. Where do I get out of?
what he is. Arik has anything to say about Aldra? Where are you? <laughs> Secure depression, okay. Well, well, well. Maybe I can gift that. <laughs> he just gave me gift and I give it to Thanks very much. Jorgen. instead of using taxi to hope maybe maybe this place can trigger some companion voice lines but apparently not about Alderaan. Like usually the companions have some voice lines when you get uh, onto new planets. But maybe Arik is not the talkative kind. I don't know. How oh, Sorgana. Ah. They're the biggest supporters of the Republic on Alderaan. Let's hope we can return the favor. friend. The detention area is restricted. I'm going to need to see some identification before you come in here. Here you go. Thank you. Let's have a look then. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I didn't recognize you. We, uh, well, your general told us someone was coming, but he didn't say who. You'll be wanting to talk to our esteemed guest from House Thule, won't you? He's a tough one. We worked him over a dozen times and he still won't talk. Thought he mentioned a man called Gearbox. Yeah, besides that, he mentioned the Gearbox fellow as soon as we brought him in. The man's name is Marcus Thule. He did tell us that much. Our boys caught old Marcus sneaking into the castle with a dozen Imperial commandos, set on cutting the head of House Organa into Throntabate. Was anyone in House Organa harmed? Nobody in the family was hurt, but a bunch of guards went down in the fighting. It was bad, Lieutenant. Really bad. Anyways, 
As soon as we got the shock cuffs on him, Marcus starts in on the gearbox stuff. Critical intelligence, Republic Special Forces will want to know, that sort of thing. That's when we called your people. I should speak with the prisoner at once. Absolutely, sir. Sorry to have held you up so long. Marcus is in holding cell 5, Lieutenant. I've set the security door to grant you access whenever you're ready. So, a visitor. Welcome. I am Marcus and Darius Thule. Your aspect and equipment are not those of House Organa. Whom do you represent? Hmm. Have I seen this person before? It's sometimes really hard to tell when NPCs, you know, recycle the same faces. If you cooperate, I can make life much easier for you. Ah, uh, so my offer of information has finally reached the correct persons. I can tell you all about Gearbox, the Empire, and their activities. But before I help you, you must help me. I want protection for my wife and daughter. I'm not sure I understand. My wife and daughter, they still live amongst my house and amongst the Imperials. If I tell you what I know, they will suffer for that betrayal. I won't allow this. So until my family is safe, I can tell you nothing. Hm. Your family isn't my problem. I understand that. Which is why I cannot trust you to rescue them once I've revealed what I know. Perhaps a compromise. I tell you part of what I know to prove the veracity of my claims. If you mm. find that my intelligence is accurate, you help my family. After which, I will tell you exactly how to locate Gearbox. I'll hear you out, Thul. This better be good. Among other projects, Gearbox has helped construct a hidden, highly sophisticated missile battery capable of eradicating any Organa force that approaches Thul territory. Destroying this missile battery would greatly benefit your Organa allies and prove how accurate my information is. All you need do for the rest is protect my wife and daughter. We'll talk after I'm done checking your intel. If you're telling the truth, then I'll protect your family. Then you will have what you seek. Oh well. Okay, let's work, let's work with this guy. Hmm. Okay. I gotta say, Lieutenant, you're something else. Until you showed up, Marcus had barely spouted 20 words at us. Don't know about this business with Marcus's wife and daughter, though. The boys upstairs may not approve of cutting deals with this guy. Your superior's opinions have no impact on my mission. Okay, sure. But these guys can make life very hard. Believe me. Just figured I'd warn you now. So what about Marcus's story? All of this missile launcher business. You think he's telling the truth? If he's lying, I'll kill him myself. You don't mess around, do you? Well, <laughs> good luck out there, friend. Who knows? Maybe you'll find some clues about this gearbox guy. I'll keep an eye on Marcus while you're gone. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Alaskan Highlands. Local are currently what? open for business. Alaskan Lowlands. Hmm, not Alaskan Highlands. <laughs> well, almost. No, oh, wait. It is there, so is it that. Have a safe and pleasant stay. Hmm, the map didn't show where I was supposed to.
I get even closer? Vehicle plans are currently open for business. Have a safe and pleasant stay. <laughs> oh, this is the loveliest taxi. Like. <laughs> No, wait. This wasn't close, was it? No, it probably was. <sighs> Let's go. Which way? This way. No, wait. The other... The other taxi was probably close. <laughs> because I need to... Go all the way from... Ah. Let's just travel. <laughs> it's all the same. Alright, I always forget I could send these... People into... Asmesa. Into missions while I'm... Your peace of mind is Sorry. my highest priority. Rest yes, assured, this will be done to perfection. Oh no? Is it worth it? To gather these things? <laughs> Just while we at it. Just gathering some stuff. together why not it's free together. Wait. Well, this is... <laughs> this is locked together. to fight. <laughs> I don't want to, I just want to sneak around. Could we? Could we sneak around? Could we just go here? Because <laughs> so I want to do this story and not necessarily level up because I'm already um, over the level of this planet so I just sneak around just <laughs> please don't mind me I'm just I'm just passing by wait a minute to go there uh, don't mind me please I'm just I'm just passing by please don't 
mind me. <laughs> Please. <laughs> so many gods and no one sees me. <laughs> Destroy missile batteries. Ah, so I need to. I need to fight. Kill this. Completed her task, so I go Understood. on to another task. Section delivered on schedule. It was my pleasure to serve. Go on to another I mission. Promise nothing then. less than perfection, Master. Objective complete. Right away, sir. some fresh ballistic data for the MR3s you've got loaded down there. Well, if it isn't our old friend Gearbox. Well, hello, someone. Nice <laughs> Welcome to keep him busy, I guess. Watch. Are you looking forward to taking Gearbox down? That's a big affirmative. We've been doing some testing for Project B and worked out new results for your range racks. We want to nudge those MR3s a good 0 0.053 degrees positive lateral to get clean hits on Zone 3. Anyhow, stay sharp out there, kids. Maybe once Project B is complete, we'll have you over for a little demonstration. Primary out. What do you think Project B is? He definitely sounds excited about it. Whatever Project B is, it can't be good. No kidding, sir. Ready to move whenever you are, sir. Project B. <laughs> Worse than Project A, but better than Project C, I guess. Ah, oh, where do we need to go? Back to... Back to Hoss Organ.
Captain Cormac, I really don't believe I can make myself much clearer than... Lieutenant, welcome back, sir. How did your mission go? You know, destroying that giant missile battery that threatened our house, sir? Is everything all right, Cormac? Oh, of course it is, Lieutenant. Especially knowing that you pulled off such a dangerous mission against Thule and the Imperials. <clears throat> yes. Allow me to extend the fondest gratitude of our noble House of Organa for your heroic assistance, Lieutenant. I am Palos Theseus Organa, first nephew to His Highness the Great Duke of Organa. It is an honor to make your acquaintance. It's good to meet you too, sir. Uh, yes. Well, indeed. I am told that you have spent some time in the company of a prisoner detained herein, one Marcus Thule. This man is of no small consequence to our house, as you may well be aware. What is your interest in him? Ask all you want, but you won't get any answers. Lieutenant, I'm certain you would agree that my family has a right to know what transpires in our home. Marcus Thule is telling you secrets which I deeply suspect he would not do without promise of recompense. <laughs> I don't really care for... Uh, the noble house bickering. Begging your pardon, sir, but I really can't discuss mission details. Your mistrust saddens me. Are we not allies? Can we not confide in one another? Well, I'm afraid that house business compels me elsewhere, so I must take my leave of you, Lieutenant. But let me make something clear. Marcus Thule attempted to murder the head of our house. He will not be pardoned for his crime. Sorry about that. I tried to calm him down, but to Palos, you're just a stranger buddying up with the guy who tried to kill his family. Palos has a right to seek justice for his family. Yeah, I'd want to put Marcus down too if he came after my family like he did the old Duke. I've been watching Marcus since you left. I don't think he's made a sound or moved a centimeter. Still, I'm sure he's been looking forward to your next visit. I'll be out here if you need anything. Let's hear what he has to say. You've returned. I trust everything was as I described. I have now proven the accuracy of my knowledge, as well as my intentions. Before I share any more intelligence on Gearbox, you must rescue my wife and daughter. Nobody gets rescued until I know what Gearbox is up to with Project B. I have stated the price of further intelligence. Until you rescue my wife and daughter, we have nothing further to discuss. Oh, you really don't have any leverage here, mister. What am I supposed to do? Bring them here? Absolutely. I must see firsthand that they are unharmed. My wife and daughter can be found at our family manor. I'll provide you with the coordinates. They must not be recognized while traveling with you. You'll need to acquire disguises of some kind. Is there anything else you want as long as you're dreaming? My family and I have a code word for situations such as this. Speaking it will prove that you are acting on my behalf. Tyroven, remember the word well. I'll not have you harming Altana or Valen to gain their cooperation when you could simply speak a word. Those are their names? Correct. Altana is my wife, and Valen, my daughter. If you fail to deliver Altana and Valen to me alive and well, I will never tell you anything. Never. Now go. We will only speak further when I see my wife and daughter safely before me. Well, 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 we'll see about that. Because I have that, um... <laughs> dark side trooper, you know, to play through after this. So I guess that's it then. Nothing for it but to rescue the wife and daughter, huh? At this point, there's no other choice, Captain. Well, probably worse things in the galaxy than rescuing noble ladies, even if they are thules. I've got you some cloaks here, sir. To disguise the ladies, I mean. It's going to be tough getting to those ladies. There's bound to be loads of guards, Imperial and Thule, in every direction. Thanks for the heads up, Captain. Anytime. Good luck, Lieutenant. Can I get some trousers so I can't equip mission items? What's this? Civilian disguises. 
These guys will allow Marcus to family to flee without being fired at man, okay? <laughs> nice. Morris, where do we need to go? You're a mountain, okay. Let's get a little bit closer. Where's the taxi? Select an available travel route. times. <laughs> Safe and pleasant stay. Not sure, maybe it is. Vehicle pads Let's are currently try. open for business. No. Back to traveling with this. Did I get anything new? 
I got stealth scan. Uh, not the most useful thing, but let's learn it anyway. Gather it, but please don't trigger the troops. <laughs> I probably can't skip those. Yes. Oh, can we? <laughs> want from us is this what real organa soldiers look like mom how fierce stay behind me daughter <laughs> i won't let you be how taken fierce. from me <laughs> she's enchanted by me <laughs> we won't hurt you you charge into our home weapons drawn and expect us to believe that you mean no harm why have you come here what are you going to do to us Your husband wanted me to get you out of here. He even gave me the password. Tyrovan. Tyrovan? The code word. Marcus, he's still alive. We have to go to him, Mum. We have to. But... But how will we make the journey? We'll be spotted traveling with this soldier. Marked as traitors to House Thule. To the Empire. I... I want to see your father again as much as you do, dearest. But we must think these things through. Put these on so no one will recognize you. Well, I... I suppose. We have no other choice. <laughs> no other choice but put on common people clothes. <laughs> Just think of it as an unusually dangerous vacation. Very reassuring. Don't mope, Mum. This is going to be so exciting. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> we have them. Here with us. Hello, friends. Can we all fit into the same picture, please? <laughs> We're here. <laughs> Signal the extraction dropship. Okay. We'll do that then. I've completed my task. Mm -hmm. From from there. Can we? Just skip the fighting and go from here. I've heard the way to improve upon your specifications, Master. I trust you don't mind. Hey, someone else is fighting for us. <laughs> You're fine. 
terrified. I can just... I've completed my assignment. Nothing but a scorched and mangled corpse. Not even fit to be buried. <laughs> That's tough. And these guys will just run <laughs> behind me. <laughs> this is so stupid. Like, I'm using a jet bug and <laughs> no one will just run. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. This is just funny. <laughs> uh, the noble lady is <laughs> running <laughs> behind me. Uh, oh, I'm too easily amused. What did I need to do? Signal the thing. onto that ship but they left us behind <laughs> why why because we need to go to the same place where they went <laughs> did they have no room for us anymore hmm. can we just horrible and do this Deep. oops that's not a long fall at all Detention center. Where's Marcus? You're holding him prisoner in this horrid place, aren't you? I insist that you take me to him at once. Uh, Lieutenant, what's the call here? You think it's safe to let him in? I'll take responsibility if anything happens, Captain. All right. Take the ladies on in. Cells open. Let's move along. <laughs> I want what to bring this nightmarish this? journey to a close. Trevor. Don't be such a crank, Mum. Enjoy the adventure. We're going to see father. Yes, the only thing that brings me comfort in our impending doom. Let's find out what these beasts have done to my Marcus. <laughs> oh no. Please take us to my father. I demand that you take me to my husband at once. Please take us to my father. Marcus! Father, we're so happy to see you. Altana. Valen, I'm sorry to have put you through all of this. Was your journey a safe one? Are you injured? We are uninjured, husband. This beast you sent for us was more savage than those we encountered along the way. It really was the most exciting adventure of our lives, father. Thank you. 
Glad you're happy. Oh, yes. It was utterly thrilling. Thank you. You have carried out your end of the agreement. With Altana and Valen safe, I can tell you everything you wish to know. Marcus! <clears throat> Our house is no longer ours, dear. It is a puppet, and nothing more. The two of you are my only concern now. Listen closely, soldier. Gearbox is working inside a highly secure bunker, hidden in the mountains. A direct assault is impossible. The bunker's force fields are impenetrable. But if you raid the generator facility that powers it, you should be able to shut the defenses down. You're kidding me. I haven't led you astray thus far. I have no reason to begin now. As for Gearbox himself, I cannot offer any further information. His Project B was kept a secret even from House Thule's highest nobleman. However, he promised that Project B would single-handedly turn the tide of the conflict. Whatever it is, Project B is dangerous. Project B? I'm here for Gearbox, not his work. But if Project B is a weapon, Gearbox may attempt to use it against you. I thought you should be warned. Our arrangement is concluded. If you'll excuse us, I'd like to spend some time alone with my family now. Okay, let's infiltrate Gearbox Bunker. Wait, is it? Marcus. Thank the Mega for quick travel. Save some of us that trouble time. You are fit for oh. duty. Return to your post. I'm gonna use this. Please, thank Stand you. by for examination and suggested products. Um, the sale of the crap, I don't have any use. You are fit for duty. Return to your post. I'm back to traveling. Understood. Peace of mind is my highest priority. Rest assured, this will be done to perfection. Where do we go from here? From that. Mountains. I can't go there. <laughs> ah. And here I thought I could skip up. Mob. <laughs> Oops, I can't actually. <laughs> ah. Harpoon, that's terrible. <laughs> Please. <laughs> 
<laughs> Don't mind me. We're just passing by. to all personnel. <laughs> Warning. Unscheduled main generator shutdown sequence initiated. Repeat. Main generator shutdown sequence initiated. If main generator shutdown sequence has been initiated in error, proceed immediately to generator command to abort well, the sequence. Guess we can expect a lot of company heading our way. Generator reactivation requires three week overhaul to be carried out by trained Imperial Power Bureau officials only. <sighs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> generator functionality will cease unless shutdown sequence is aborted before completion. Okay, so. <laughs> Personnel. Main generator shutdown sequence completed successfully. All generator function has been terminated. That is all. That is all. <laughs> Loss is common for people your age. Ha, calling me old, yeah. I've never heard that before, especially from someone I ended up killing a few seconds later. And is that Jorman, Gorman, something like that, right? Well, he must have been pretty desperate to drag that worthless pile all the way from Lord Mantell. His name is Sergeant Jorgen, Havoc Squad. Oh, pardon me, Sergeant, sir, officer on deck. 
An officer with a lower rank than I remember, huh? I'm gonna feel bad taking you down, Gearbox. It's like gunning down... Well, like gunning down anything old and decrepit. Not really sporting. What are you gonna do, shoot my hologram? <laughs> yeah, that'd really show me. So welcome to my humble little research bunker. Have you had a pleasant stay so far? Jet Cardin and Fuse already surrendered. Now it's your turn. Yeah, I'm sure the Emperor himself will be calling soon to talk terms. Give me a break. I gotta hand it to you, I didn't think anybody could breach this place, but here you are. Still, you aren't real Havoc Squad material. See, a real Havoc trooper would never have strolled right into a trap like this one. Oh no, it's a trap! Havoc Squad, this place. Understood, sir. Welcome to the future of war, kid. Hope you're ready to make history because you're gonna be this baby's first confirmed kill. to go back to the house of Ghana. Hmm. Target neutralized. <laughs> what? Target neutralized and there you are. Advanced droids cannot make a shimmer silk Paris from a Banthes ear, Master. I promise to do better next time. He'll be back soon, too. So I'll, I'll wait. My task is done, sir. It will be an honor. Sir, I was only following the lieutenant's orders. Cooperating with our allies, isn't that the drill? Captain, you have converted our prison into a hotel for enemy nobles. <laughs> I already told you. The lieutenant had to rescue the ladies to get Marcus to start talking. That's all this is, sir. The mission was a complete success. Ah, the lieutenant. No doubt returning from yet another daring and influential operation on my family's behalf and without our knowledge. Would you be so kind as to explain to me why there are three Thule nobles here insisting that they have a bargain with you? That information is classified, sir. Enough. You are taking advantage of our house's hospitality to engage in secretive dealings that may or may not even be to our benefit. <laughs> I will have the truth. What bargain have you struck with this man and his family? My 
Our deal was for the wife and daughter, not Marcus. But... but Marcus! My Marcus! No! No! Please, not father. Not father! Hush now, dears. I knew that this might come to pass, and it is a small price to pay for your safety. This... this agreement is satisfactory to House Organa, Lieutenant. The ladies will be remanded to the Republic's care as soon as arrangements are made. It has to be this way. You have my apologies. Yes, I understand. You. You're all monsters. <sighs> Heartless beasts with no bravery or... or honor. We cannot change this, Valen. Nothing can. Oh, Marcus. Oh, my Ill dearest Marcus. Me. No. You'll pay for this. I won't rest until every single one of you is paid for this. I'm just a simple soldier of the Republic. Don't blame me. I'm sorry, Valen. If I could do something else, I would. You could have chosen honor, but you didn't. You'll pay. Someday you will. Oh, no. I swear it. I, uh, I'll leave you all to grieve, then. Farewell, Lieutenant. Captain. Guess you'll move on now, Lieutenant. You got your man. Palos is happy. Everything's tied up. I really appreciate your assistance, Captain. Been a pleasure to be a part of something so important, sir. A real pleasure. See you around, Lieutenant. You sure ships follow them. Oh, what's this all? What's this all? Because Tatooine took almost two hours, but maybe it was all the travel time. I know the run seems to be almost over then. Unless Garza has something more for us to do. <sighs> Wait, what's this the way to my ship? I don't remember. Here. Here's my ship. Extra padding to all the seat cushions aboard this vessel. I hope you find them comfortable. Well, thank you. <laughs> Lieutenant, this is General Garza. Report. What is the status of your mission on Alderaan? Everything's taken care of. I'm pleased to hear that, Lieutenant. Congratulations. And what of Gearbox? What is his current status? Gearbox has been dealt with as ordered. Excellent, Lieutenant. Top-notch work. Now regarding your secondary objective, assisting House Organa wherever possible. Palace Organa tells me you conducted yourself with utmost courtesy and were an invaluable operative on his house's behalf. I'm glad to hear Palace was so pleased. So was I. With Gearbox eliminated, you have officially dealt with every Havoc Trader outpost we are aware of. But as you know, what? our task is not yet complete. You should return immediately to Special Forces Command on Coruscant. It's time we finish this. Okay. Hmm. We have a lead on Tavis's position? We'll discuss the relevant intelligence when you arrive, Lieutenant. Do not delay. Garza out. Okay.
maybe I'll play this next mission still. Travel to Coruscant. Where's my <laughs> Where's my galaxy map? Actually, the end of Act One of the Alderaan. Hello, Wallaby. Welcome, Lieutenant. Stand at ease. Make yourself comfortable. We have a great deal to discuss. Before we begin, I want to congratulate you on everything you've achieved thus far. You've completed missions and defeated enemies that few other soldiers could ever contend with. <laughs> Just doing my duty. You've gone far beyond the call of duty, Lieutenant. The time has come to end this. To deal with your former squad mate's treachery once and for all. We've made a critical breakthrough in the search for Tavis. A decisive opportunity has presented itself. Are you ready to end this, Lieutenant? I'm always ready. Good. We've intercepted a signal, broadcast to Taris, Narshida, Tatooine, and Alderaan. The signal contained a message from Tavis, calling for all of his surviving followers to pull out and rendezvous in Imperial space. I thought I'd wipe those traitors out. Apparently, some number of scattered survivors remain behind on the worlds you visited. I suspect the Empire is losing its patience with Tavis. Every operation the Havoc traders were involved in has now been completely obliterated. Your missions have been very costly for the Empire. I think Tavis is trying to regroup before the Imperials cut him off completely. If Tavis is pulling back, this would be a good time to make a move. Exactly what I was thinking, Lieutenant. I want you to infiltrate Tavis's rendezvous. You'll proceed to the coordinates in the message and slip in amongst the surviving traders to board his vessel. A little infiltrate, a little assassinate. Count me in. Once on board, your first objective will be disabling the ship's hyperdrive. Next comes your ultimate objective, Tavis. Locate and neutralize him with extreme prejudice, Lieutenant. Tavis won't escape us this time, General. You don't need me to tell you the kind of odds you'll be facing out there. This is no ordinary mission. This is a Havoc mission. A mission no other unit could ever accomplish. Is Havoc Squad prepared to do what no one else can, Lieutenant? Havoc Squad is willing and able, General. Here, get yourself and your people the best loadouts you can. Then head for the rendezvous coordinates. I'm counting on you, Lieutenant. The Republic is counting on you. So get out there and do us proud. <laughs> Dismissed. <laughs> no pressure at all. <laughs> no counting on you. My okay. task is done, sir. Okay, so... Travel to that justice. <coughs> ah, my dog is barking. <laughs> so I need to go back to my ship. <coughs> what the heck? I mean, I suppose this mission is the <laughs> last mission. 
uh, on Act One, right? Trial to the Justice. So maybe I'll just do this one. <laughs> Famous last words before you are awake all night playing. Just one more mission and then I'll go. One more mission. direction. This way. <laughs> no, wait. This way. <laughs> why is this? Uh, why is this a ship where I get lost all the time? Okay, let's travel to the justice. It's us here. Good day, Lieutenant. Lieutenant Welcome aboard the Justice. Need to run a few questions by you before you head on into the crew area. Go right ahead, Lieutenant. Which planet were you posted on, Lieutenant? Who did you serve with? Uh. I was posted on that wrecked swamp hole terrace. Needles was in charge. Terrace? I heard some bad stuff went down on Terrace. So, um, tell me. Did Needles really test that bioweapon on his own people? Turn them into monsters? They were all ten meters tall and breathing fire by the end. You've got to be kidding me. Needles must have been pretty cracked. So what about this other rumor I keep hearing? That a single Republic soldier came in and broke up the entire operation. Is that really true? A real one-woman army. And she didn't take prisoners. Sounds pretty serious. But hey, you made it. We're in the clear now. Hey, uh, I won't hold you up any longer, Lieutenant. Go on and head for the crew area. I bet you could use some rest after what you've been through. See you around. <laughs> oh no, my dog is barking. <laughs> Left and at Rom. Temporary crew quarters are just outside the hangar doors, Lieutenant. Go and find yourself a pump. <laughs> Where did he go? Hey, who's snitch? Who's snitch? My dog is barking and I'm like, I want to finish this, <laughs> I want to finish this mission, then we can go out, dog. Just 10 minutes maybe. <laughs> but she's a dog, she doesn't understand time. Why did I do that? Oh no no, wait. Where do we go? What do we need to do? <laughs> um Okay. You are raising suspicion. Oh really? Am I? <laughs> Am I really? <laughs> Raising suspicion. Hello, Lieutenant. No, oh, it's my friend. I was hoping we'd bump into each other. Me too. 
You are caught. You failed. Surrender, Wraith. I don't want to fight you. Too bad. Time to die. No! No! Ah! No! Oh, oops! <laughs> to kill you but there we go there we go sorry right <laughs> wait <laughs> where did we come from Just run. Arik can handle this. <laughs> I have no time to fight. Arik can take care of everything. Seems that no matter how hard I try, I can't have any kind of gathering without you. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. You are a member of Havoc, just like the rest of us. I suppose you belong here in some twisted way. You've got nothing to do with Havoc Squad, Tavis. You're a traitor. I am Havoc Squad Lieutenant. Carden, me, Wraith, Gearbox, Needles, and Fuse. We were Havoc Squad. You are nothing. You should be thanking me, really. I imagine that killing all my comrades, my closest friends, has been good for your career. Well, I didn't mean to kill most of them, but the game didn't give me any choice. I didn't enjoy killing them. You think that matters? You killed my friends. That's all there is to this. In the end, I'm glad you've come. I'm glad you intercepted the signal, and glad you butchered the last of my loyal soldiers. I'm glad you're here, Lieutenant. I'm glad I get to kill you myself. It doesn't have to end like this. It can only end like this. It's time, Lieutenant. Let's finish this. <sighs> For the Republic. Come on, then. No, no, no. all the buttons and hope for the best. No, 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 no. What you doing? Uh, I... This is it, isn't it? 
This is all I have to show for everything I've done. Everything I tried to achieve. There's nothing left, Tavis. Just give it up. I... You... What, what have I done? They're dead. They agreed with me. They, they followed me. They died because of me. Drop the weapon and we can talk about it. Don't... Don't kill me, Lieutenant. I... I can help you. I... I've learned things. Intel about the Empire. Bring me in. Take me to Garza. Let me... Let me undo some of the damage. Surrender and I'll take you to General Garza. Are you kidding? You're gonna let him live after everything he's done? How many people have been killed because of this man? Good Republic soldiers. He deserves to die. Oh, he deserves a trial. Can't let your grudge from Ord Mantell ruin the chance for good intelligence, Jorgen. Fine. Let him live. Do what's useful instead of what's right. You... You made the right choice. You'll see. Garza will reward you well for... for bringing me in. I... I hereby formally surrender without condition to the custody of the Army of the Galactic Republic. You should have done this a long time ago, Tavis. I... Yes. Yes, I see that now. I'll stay where you can see me, Lieutenant. No, wait. We don't need to go back to the uh, capital. Oh, no. What Negative on hostiles. It's all clear, General. At ease, Lieutenant. You've done a truly remarkable job. Congratulations. I'm just glad it's over, sir. As are we all, Lieutenant. Hello, Harren. I wasn't sure we'd ever have another opportunity to speak. I'm pleased you finally decided to cooperate. I don't really have a choice. I've lost everything that was worth fighting for. The people of the Republic are still out there, Harren. They're the ones you should have been fighting for all along. Team One, take the prisoner back to our ship and secure him in the brig. See you around, Tavis. Goodbye, Lieutenant. I congratulated you earlier, Lieutenant, but I think it bears repeating. You've accomplished something remarkable today. Tavis and his followers knew every aspect of our organization. They could have torn the Republic military apart piece by piece, but they never got the chance. Thanks to you. It's an honor to defend the Republic, General. The Republic has little to fear with soldiers like you to defend it. We'll be staying to search the ship for intelligence while the hyperdrive is reactivated, but there's no need for you to remain as well. I'd say you've earned some leave, Lieutenant. Take some time Aww. off, then return to my office on Coruscant when you're ready to discuss a new assignment for Habit <laughs> Squad. It'll be nice to finally relax a bit. Yes, I imagine it will. Now, go out and enjoy yourself a bit, Lieutenant. And congratulations yet again on completing one of the most difficult assignments in Spec Force's history. Come on, Jorgen. Let's go get a drink. I used to know this great canteen on Ormantel. Probably a crater by now, though. Enjoy yourself, Lieutenant. Dismissed. Hey, hey. Chapter one. He's finished. Okay. Yeah. So. This is fun place to stop. Except, um, Jorgen, I'm, I'm not so keen on going to Ormantel. For some cantina. I think we are. I think we could go to Nashada for some nightlife event, and we probably <laughs> we could find ourselves some some fancy clothes and go to Nashada <laughs> before starting the next ch chapter. <clears throat> but I think this is a this is a good place to uh, stop playing I've been for waiting for today. You. Are you? <laughs> I've been waiting for you. <laughs> what? I've been waiting for you. Okay. Well, well, you know, we are off. <sighs> Thank you for everyone watching. I think end of chapter one is pretty good place to uh, stop for today. 
and continue at another day. Although I'm tempted to try some PvP in one of these days, but I don't know. Maybe another day. Right now my dog wants my attention. So yeah. Thanks everyone for stepping by and we'll see another day.